again you are welcome to our beautiful our wonderful world of youtube called queen rami talks guys thank you so much for all the love that we are receiving on this channel it's so amazing to watch hashtag road to 500 subscribers bona yahamba yeah no matter the pace yahamba imoto aimanga you know ubo miabumanga you know, um, to our new subscribers, welcome home. Welcome to my beautiful world where we talk about marriage, lifestyle, relationships, your faith in God. Um, and also we share with you mini vlogs, our vlogs and all the travels that we do as a couple, even individually and with my family. So guys, thank you so much for watching all those beautiful memories that we posted the previous week. Thank you so much. Those who commented, you guys are the best. As you saw in the title of the video, I got a beautiful chance to um, interview one of the ladies who went on date my family sometime this year. Um, she's a wonderful woman. Her name is Benedicta Sibanda. We were live on Instagram. Thank you for all those who showed us all the support on Instagram. Yeah, basically she will be answering if her and the bachelor that she chose on date, my family, are an item or not. You know, please do watch till the end. You will be answered. And you will know if she was happy with the choice that she made. You will know if um, she was happy with um, the options that date my family gave her. So she's going to be very honest. I loved her honesty. I love her wisdom. She's a very wonderful woman of God. So please do enjoy watching and please do comment down below on what you think of date my family. Is it an option for many people who are single? Yeah, thank you guys so much. Please do watch till the end. I will meet you at the end of our video. This week on Date My Family. <laughs> I have been single since bed. Mm. This will be my uh, first relationship. So, uh, what's your deal breaker? I don't like someone that's gonna lie to me. It like, you need to be cheat. honest with me. If you're gonna cheat, then tell Swag. Swag. Cheating, obviously. Why? The girl was like everywhere. Uh, she was for the streets, like yeah. they say. Guys, um, we are about to go live now. In case you missed the live, please do catch us on my YouTube channel, Queen Rami Talks. Please do subscribe. We're going to save the live and then you're going to get a chance to watch it. I love you. Please go to Instagram now. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Hello there. Let me request our baby. Hello everyone, hello everyone, <laughs> the life we have all been waiting for, thank you once again to everyone, good evening, you are more than welcome, okay my name is Queen Rami, before we get to the order of the day, my name is Queen Rami, I'm a South African YouTuber, I'm a founder and a CEO of Queen Rami's clothing range, I also own Queen Rami's foundation, so I'm honored to be talking to our queen today, a very wonderful woman of God. Yes, we are not going to waste any time because we have a lot of questions. 
So I have questions that I'm going to ask the queen today. And then I'm waiting for her to request. Okay. Okay, as she's joining us, we are not going to be taking any questions from you guys now. I am going to be asking her a whole lot of questions. And then you will get your chance to ask. Hello! <laughs> oh my God, I just spoke to her on the phone now. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, I'm finding you. I'm good, thank you. Um, is the sound clear? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay. You are more than welcome to my beautiful <laughs> world. <laughs> and how was work today? No, it was long. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't worry. We're gonna. You know, we need all the juicy details. So are you promising us yeah. that you're not going to leave any stone unturned? <laughs> Nothing. That didn't look your energy on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Um, Guys, can you just tell us if the sound is clear? We don't want to go on and talk while you guys can hear us. So, um, yeah, I already introduced myself. My name is Queen Rami. Like I said, I'm a South African YouTuber. You guys can go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Queen Rami Talks. And we are going to save this live. It's going to go to my YouTube in case some of you guys are going to miss it. So I'm with our beautiful queen today, the beautiful model. Oh! <laughs> okay, I know I said I'll be asking you about where you are from. Thank you, Dr. Tilly. You are welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, the sound is clear, guys. Okay. So, my queen, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you gave me your profile, but I think it's best yeah. that they get it from the queen herself. Who are you? Okay. What are you all about? <laughs> okay, so, guys, hi. And thank you, Queen Ren, for having me. <laughs> I'm Benedicta Spinder. I'm turning 26 in November. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm originally from Zim in Bulawayo. Um, I grew up this side. Um, I did grade five here in South Africa. Yeah. And I'm a model part time and uh, full time. I'm a finance manager for this branding company. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. And I'm a boxer. Like on the weekends, I go boxing. I've won tournaments and, you know, <laughs> I studied aviation. I have my license for cabin crew and I've studied private investigations as well. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, leadership, leadership. Hey, hey, we have a very important guest today. Hey. Okay, beautiful mm -hmm. profile, my queen. Um, Guys, like we said, the reason for this life is for us to talk about her visit to date my family we are all aware that she went on date my family i posted everywhere on my social medias so she went there looking for love <laughs> so before we waste any time guys we are going to get to the questions that i drafted down for my queen and then towards the end you guys can ask any question are we clear my queen Okay, so why did you choose to go to date my family? Out of all the ways to find love, why date my family? <laughs> I wasn't was finding love out there, you know. I was like, okay, let's date my family. Let me try them out. And I get to meet the families before I make, you know, my choice. So that I get to understand this potential partner through the families. And yeah... That's why I chose to go and date my family. That's like, okay, at least the family will tell me the truth. <laughs> or some, uh, some families lied. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I hear your answer. So, but then when you went there, have you dated before? And if you did date before, how did you meet the previous par partners? Okay, so I haven't dated before. And this was like my first one. I was like, Okay, I think I'm ready now, you know. So let me try this whole relationship thing. Because, like, uh, obviously you get guys asking you out. 
but then you like friend zone and family zone them you know i was like i need to find a guy for myself you know like i need to like write a list of the type of person i'm looking for and then you know send you to date my family <laughs> wow so what you're saying to us tonight is that you are fresh from the box <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow wow your future partner slash husband slash boyfriend is going to be the luckiest man on planet earth I mean we are living yes. in the days where people are saying just because you you don't have an ex or you are new in the game then you don't know anything but the truth of the yeah. matter is that when you are a fresh person your chances of living a good life are very high so big up to you my queen I uh, thank you Okay so as we are talking about date my family where your expectation met on the show <laughs> apart from the choices like what were you expecting to get and where those expectations met um not really <laughs> so <laughs> i love the honesty <laughs> yeah i'm going to be truthful here Like I have important. to be honest. So, <laughs> so when I wrote to the show, right, I had like a long visit. <laughs> I, I told them the type of person I was looking for. Um, so I go to church, you know. And so not that I wasn't looking for someone that goes to church like twenty four seven. At least someone that knows that okay, there's a God out there, you know. And I was looking for a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and um so I go to the gym. I also said I was looking for, you know, someone who goes to the gym, tall, dark and handsome and fit, you know. Yeah, clever. And, um, <laughs> and well, I yeah, I didn't get what I was looking for. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. <laughs> We understand that your expectations were not met, all right? Um you just yes, mentioned ma'am. a very important factor that you are a Christian. So as a Christian mm-hmm. woman, were you not worried that they will not meet your expectations because remember as a Christian we don't just date anybody, you know? So did you honestly think that date my family will m- bring your criteria be it a man of god but like you're saying you, you didn't want a church boy per se but you wanted somebody that you speak the same language with so my question is mm-hmm. what what were you thinking like when you went there your christian values when they tested no not really so you know like when you write for a show right and like there's like a long list you expect okay they're gonna um, look for this type of people because obviously like if you look at like previous episodes there's like guys that actually go to church and they're looking for like you know <laughs> they just like god you know so I was like oh yeah maybe I'll get something similar but then I got people that don't even go to church Ooh. and they don't even you know I was like wow oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, my queen, I hear you. So, tell us after that statement that you made that um they were not in your level Christian wise. So, how important is it for us as children of God to date people that we speak the same language with? No, like but I blend even if like some Christian men like they don't you know um how can i put it so like they are not holy and thou you know yeah. others are going to be like yeah i go to church and christian but then they drink they smoke they do like the opposite of what they are preaching you know and with me like i go to church i don't drink i don't smoke so what i say is how i behave you know mm. so i was like So um, you know like you can meet someone that doesn't go to church but then they've like they follow these values and then they've these beliefs 
good, okay, there's good, you know, this and that. Mm. So, like, it doesn't matter whether I meet someone that goes to church or doesn't go to church. As long as we speak the same language, you're not going to be like, oh, because you're Christian, um, I don't want you or something like that, you know. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going back to the issue of relationships. What are you looking for? Do you still want to date for fun or... At your age, you think it's time to settle down? So, like, um, I don't have, like, you know, a time frame or when I want to settle down. But I want to meet someone that we're going to, you know, like, I want a relationship that's going to lead to marriage, you know. Like, I don't want to play games. I mean, like, we're too old for that. <laughs> I need someone that understands communication. Um, someone that understands what's okay. We are together because we want to build a future together. So I'm not out, I'm not putting myself out there for fun and games. I'm looking for a serious relationship, you know, looking for someone that's going to understand me <laughs> and, you know, someone that believes it's okay. We are dating and we're going to have a future together, you know. No fun and game, please. <laughs> <laughs> totally understandable. But, I mean, we have to look at the fact that we are living in an era where people don't want to commit. People are dating for fun. People are using people. So, um, do you think true love still exists? I actually do, hey. I'm an old soul. <laughs> 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 oh my God. I feel like I'm so old fashioned, but yeah, well, that's me. I still believe in true love. Yeah. I believe would, when the time is right, you meet the right partner. You know? Correct. So, how our parents met in the olden days, I'm sure we would see there's, you know, a guy out there that still believes in true love. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, my queen, true love does exist. Yes, as long as you get to meet the right person. I believe you. Yes. You've got a very good personality. I mean, you are good to deal and with. I believe so. because I've seen you and your partner. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me blush. <laughs> okay, um, coming to talk about date my family. You know it comes with the fame. It comes with criticism and all that. So how was your experience, I mean, on social media and as a whole, the criticism, you know? I mean, the minute you come out and say, I've never had a boyfriend, I'm a virgin, you are bound to be criticized in this generation. So how has it been emotionally and mentally for you? So, you know, like, when I decided to put myself out there, I knew what he, I was going to get judged. Yeah. Um, so... Funny enough, I had, like, so many people, like, sending me messages via DM, like, on Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, Facebook. Like, they wanted to understand, like, was I saying the truth? And they realized that I was actually being honest. And so many, like, guys and ladies out there, they were sending me messages, like, they were they are so proud of me. And others wished to Uguti that also kept themselves for, like, the right yeah. person, you know. So, um, yeah, I got people saying, um, yeah, whatever, you know, like, she thinks she's special because she's still pure. But I had so many people, like, appreciating Uguti. I'd stayed, you know, pure for, like, forever, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, it was like that great. <laughs> And no, like, like I'm no, saying, I'm... Um, big ups to you, my queen. Being a virgin in this day and age, it's a blessing, actually. You know, it's, it's a blessing. Yeah. And my question is, yeah. coming to this, are you willing to wait until marriage or is just a matter of until you meet the right partner? I'm willing to wait until after marriage. But, like, I need someone that's going to understand the good time. That's why I'm so married. <laughs> Amen to that. Like Amen, my know, sister. And, like, if you know what you're not going to wait, then please don't waste my time. <laughs> yeah. 
imagine giving yourself to somebody who's a passing by it's not worth yeah. it so were you honestly happy with your choice the choice that you made on that night the bachelor you chose and tell us why you chose the family <laughs> oh my god okay so um <laughs> um and when i start with why i chose the family name <laughs> um the family they were actually nice you know like they were not judgmental like that like if you watch the episode um family number 2 oh my god those people judged me um as soon as i entered their home uh from the way i was dressed they so like some clips are cut off obviously um so they judged me from the get go um how I, how I was dressed so like my fashion you know like the things like you the cheese go you have your life figured out so they judged me from how I was dressed like the way I was dressed for them meant it okay this person has lives a certain life you know um then family number 1 was actually nice <laughs> <laughs> but it's like okay now like i didn't get enough from the friends by the way actually nice and then i chose family number 3 because there were no judgmental we actually prayed before we ate but they didn't show that oh <laughs> and yeah there were, yeah there were no judgmental they were very like understanding um but I, i wasn't happy with my choice <laughs> of <laughs> of the bad <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't happy with the choice that I made. Um but <laughs> Yeah, man. Like if I could go back, I would choose family number one. <laughs> why is that? Due to the fact that you managed to see the guy after or why would you choose the first one? I would choose family number one, right? Because like when I was watching my episode Oh my god they were so nice the guy was so nice like you never said anything bad you know like you were so understanding like you could tell good this is someone that you could you know like be in a relationship with and you know communicate and stuff mm-hmm. yeah, but then yeah but then the partner that I chose oh my god that I, yeah <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> I I know sorry. Uh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see in the comment section there are some guys saying you are goals and you are everything. So you know what? Okay, so my next question is just because they are now watching and listening, what are your deal breakers when it comes to a relationship and love our partner? Okay, so I don't I'm telling to this if I have no child. Okay. Um, Beautiful. So I do, <laughs> so I do break hard as smoking and drink. Yeah, guys. Like you can drink. I mean, I might find someone who drink and I'm not going to be like because I don't drink, I don't smoke and so that might do break hard. Then I'm going to be like, listen, for a relationship to work, you need to stop smoking and drinking. I, I I'm not like that. But my deal breaker is smoking and drinking um, apparently you saw on the episode and in this guy said hardly is in smoking but hardly is tobacco i mean hello <laughs> but um, my deal breaker is smoking and drinking and someone with a child i mean i don't want to become a step mom you know like i want to I mean I understand what thing they plan in relationships you meet someone you think it's okay you're going to spend the rest of your life with and then you have a child together but then it doesn't work out and now there's like drama and everything but yeah guys I'm not looking for someone with a child you know I don't know if it happens what I find that with someone that has a child and then we live happily ever after <laughs> but um Those are my two breakers. Someone with a child. Like, I don't want drama in my life. Like, there's, like, so many baby mama dramas. And, a lot. You know? Yes. Uh-uh. Okay, so, about the baby I mama issue. Like okay. I mean, I also like liars. Um, ch- cheating. 
That's a no no guys. And trust me I'll find out if you're cheating. <laughs> we did mention that she's a private investigator. So the guy doesn't have any chance of playing with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, my next question is what if it happens? I mean, um life happens to the best of us. You meet somebody who meets yes. your criteria. They are perfect. and then they have a child but no baby mama drama then what yeah that's why i'm saying like if i do meet someone that has a child you know and like there's no drama like is a proper guy you can suit yeah you know <laughs> then i don't think it should be a problem <laughs> but it's not something you know Yeah, it's not something that I have thought of, you know, like doing, but if it happens, like you say like life happens to the best of us, then if it happens then I'll love you with your child, like I'll be their mother, then I won't consider I won't see myself as a stepmom, you know, I'll take them as my kid as well, you know. So, what is it? Um this is a very deep issue. Um What is it that you are afraid of when it comes to the issues of baby mama drama? Not only the drama, but why are you just not in it for a guy who has a child? You know, I like it's not something I would really consider. When I got always you know like when you're growing up here of like this picture perfect. That's why like I'm saying I'm an old soul. Like you believe with okay the the guy that you meet you're going to be in a relationship with and then that's like someone that you plan on starting a family with you know so it's not necessarily like the drama and it's just and like Ruti, will you be able to handle it like i'm sure this child you want their mother there's like the mother as well but then you ask yourself will you be able to handle it you know so it's something to do with that like yeah i mean <laughs> okay that's fair enough remember each and every person has their own preference when it comes to a life that's partner true. so you can never judge a person there are people who tell you straight if you have a child you are a no go area and that's okay you know we we can't afford to judge her for that and also choosing a partner who doesn't party i mean for me that was also um very important for me you know you you cannot afford to 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 be partying every weekend and expect to build a life with me you know um so now we are getting to our bachelor um your volume is low as it yeah I think it's also the network because you were cutting off a bit also. Am I clear now? Oh, uh, okay. Um let's see. Okay. Please tell us in the comment section if you can hear us clearly also. We don't want to continue only to find out you can't hear us. But can you hear me my queen? Yeah, it's a bit low. Okay and everything on my side is still perfect. Are we still clear guys on the comment section? Please tell us unless if we have to cut this live and then come back again, but I don't think it's a good idea because we still need to save this live. So, okay, they can hear us. Can you hear me my queen? Yeah, I can hear you a bit, but it's fine. <laughs> if I no, don't say your name. I'll ask you to repeat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now they're saying we are both clear on the comment section. We are getting to the juicy part now. So it's very very you see the network is fighting already. <laughs> <laughs> it's very very important that we hear each other clearly. Okay. <clears throat> so tell us about the bachelor, the guy you chose on that night. Did you know on the first date that you went to with the cameras on Did you know on that first day on with the cameras on Ngulai. that he is not the one? How, what was your first impression Ngulai. of that guy? <laughs> Did you get the question my queen? 
<laughs> oh, I had someone come in. <laughs> oh, okay, no problem. Okay, you said um the guy. Yes, the bachelor you chose on that day. Did you know wh what was your first impression of the bachelor on your first date with those cameras on? Um, so, <laughs> well, my first impression was like, okay, you shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you know what they did, ne? So, the family lied to me. So, like I said, they cut um, some stuff as well. Um, the family lied to me, actually. They said, um, this guy goes to the gym. So, he's fit, he's tall. Like, it shows what he goes to the gym. So when I met him, I was expecting, you know, someone tall, someone that goes to the gym, you know, and that wasn't what I met. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So they liked the first thing. So I was like, okay, so they lied to me. <laughs> but yeah, the guy made me laugh, you know. <laughs> so that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, but basically they lied. Yeah, they lied. So I was like, okay, so why would you lie to me? So I just, you know, like when you watch the whole thing and then you see like what other families were saying, like um, the second family, the friends lied. They're like, he works for a family business because they were trying to gain him a date. So I was like, okay, I guess the family that I chose also lied so that, you know, so they can gain points for their friend, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so did you know on that date after or even as you guys were enjoying the food, did you know that you made the wrong choice already? Yeah, so like on the date, you know, I knew Uguti like even though the we we're gonna ask Uguti is there gonna be a second date? And yeah, for me. I knew good okay. I, I there wasn't gonna be any second date, you know. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> you already knew <laughs> <laughs> like in my head I was like, can I just go back, you know, and choose family number one? But yeah, I'm a like sweet girl. Too. I'm very nice. So you know like if you give me, like, you know, I play whatever card I'm dealt with, you know, and make it work, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, I wasn't going to be mean or anything. Um, I decided to enjoy the date as well. Yeah, but I was like, can I go back to family number one? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, your network is a bit... Um... Can you see us clearly, my queen? Your network is not clear. Yo, love, I can't see me. It's like hazy. Uh, okay, okay. But let's continue if you can hear us. So, um, the bachelor you chose, I don't want to mention his name because this live is going to go on YouTube. Next thing, we are trending for all the wrong reasons. So my question is, with the bachelor you chose, were there any of the deal breakers that you mentioned? Did you notice later? Okay, guys, we lost um, our queen, and this is the most important part of this life. You know, we want to know whether the queen is still dating this guy or not, you know? So we are about to find out. Um, we are not going to uh, accept any request except from the queen. So let's just wait for her to request again. We want to know concerning the bachelor. We are almost at the end of our life anyway. So are they still dating? Are they talking? You know, is he marrying her next month? <laughs> it's very, very important for us to find out. So let's wait for her to request again. Okay, I just requested our queen now. Yes, my queen. <laughs> Madam Tilly, she's about to answer that. She's about to tell us whether they went on a second date or not. Welcome back. 
<laughs> can you hear us now? Yes, I can, and I can see you. Thank you so much, my queen. You see, the network is already, and we want the Davas. Davas, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, like I, I was saying that, were there any deal breakers that um the bachelor you chose showed you on the date, and even you know, yeah, actually on the date when you guys were conversing. Did he confess some of the deal breakers that you definitely don't want? Um so the smoking and then he said um he smoked heavily which isn't smoking but that's smoking <laughs> so yeah so the deal breakers mentioned that's just the smoking and then obviously um having a child but yeah yeah and then he oh, said so he's got a child. Um, Sorry about that. Yeah, he has a child. I think it's a son or a daughter. I don't remember. And then he also said something about like he's sorting out like there's drama, but he's like sorting it out. He needs to do some stuff to like sort out the baby mama and get a child, but not. I don't remember. But there's drama there. Um, and that's exactly oh, yeah, what then, you don't want. Yeah, and then he said some. <laughs> oh yeah, and because he's a DJ, he goes to the club. Ooh. And then he said um, he would like me to come clubbing with him and dance on top of tables. Oh my god! I'm like, what the hell? What? <laughs> 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 oh my god! I was Are like, really? <laughs> oh my word! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. <laughs> no, it's a no go area. <laughs> and I actually told him, I was like, I feel like he's, you know, one of those people that goes with the wind, you know, like wherever the wind takes him, he's there. I actually told him because I was like, wow, this guy. <laughs> No, no wonder you are regretting your choice. I mean, imagine. <laughs> so, um, after the cameras are gone, what happened? Um, so uh, after the cameras, um, was there a second <laughs> date? There was no second date. Um, there was never gonna be a second date. <laughs> well, from I don't know from his side, but from my side, yeah, guys. You know, I feel like if you really want something right, you'll fight for it. Even if you're busy 24-7, but if you really want a relationship to work with someone, then you make time. And it wasn't for me, so I just focused on my career, my work, you know. So it was not from my side, to be honest, it was never going to be a second date. I feel like our second date it was when we went for an interview for like um, another YouTube video that we did. You I know, like know like after yeah, that one. I feel like that was the second date, you know. <laughs> but it was never gonna be like a proper just me and him second date because um, it wasn't for me. But that's shocking <laughs> because on that YouTube channel. The video that I saw, he, he was acting all lovey-dovey. Yeah, you know, like, what I noticed, me, you know, like, we because we used, after we shot the episode and then we talked, like, on WhatsApp, and then you see, like, from a conversation with someone, like, okay, this guy, and he actually said it. He went to the show for fame. Right, so I felt like um he was misleading people. Like every time, let's do a live video, so people now assume we okay, these people are dating, and no, we are not dating. Yeah, so I remember the live videos. Like, Sorry. Yeah, so that so that was like rubbing me off the wrong way. But I don't, I hate lying, and I also don't like misleading people thinking we okay. Okay, so Benedicta went on date my family. 
now we're gonna see them on our perfect wedding, uh, guys. <laughs> 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 Once everyone that goes on date, my family ends up on you know OPW. <laughs> so yeah. I just felt like he was doing it for fame and just wanted people to think, but okay, listen, they are dating, but we are not dating. Guys, I'm single, <laughs> but I'm not looking. <laughs> hey, don't jump. Those questions are still gonna come, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, no, you said a mouthful. So you guys are not dating at all. We are not dating, guys. Please, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so there was not even a slight chance that you guys can date, because I don't want to lie. Like on that YouTube video, what I saw, I thought for real, you guys are an item. Uh, -uh we are not an item. <laughs> okay, my guys there who are on this live, my queen is single. <laughs> are you single and looking, or single and not available? Single and not looking. <laughs> ah, 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 your line, your line cut us off. It's single and what? Not looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, people are saying your your couple goal already. You're not looking. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> I think I think you have managed to answer us. Yeah, Sibongile is saying in the comment section. I thought you guys were in love and the more you did those yeah, right. live videos, I thought you guys are about to go to my perfect wedding, like you're saying. You know? Um, you know like, so, um, I think it was after the second live video we did. Like, I know Your line is before. bad again, my queen. You? Yeah. I think it's my wife. Oh my god. Okay, guys, um, I just removed her. We're going to request her again. And then, yeah, we are wrapping up this live. Thank you so much. If you've watched from the beginning to the end, if you watched and went to go grab a bit of a cold drink, please do watch the full video on our, inst on, on our YouTube channel. It's called Queen Rami Talks. The link is in my bio. Let's request the queen as we are finalizing. Yeah, guys, so not everything that we see on TV is real, you know? She knew on that first date that she made the wrong choice. How sad is that? So, yeah. So she's just going to tell us her way forward. Is she looking for love? Because I see there on the comment section, there are guys who are interested. I mean, who wouldn't want a woman who has brains, who has the looks, who, who has the intellect, you know? Yeah, she she's amazing. Her network is really her. So we are going to request her again. And then yeah, is she looking for love? Is she looking for love? And guys, you can shoot your shot, but she is not she said she's single but on a break. My queen Tilly, you put it right. She is single. But on a break. Hi. Oh, my queen, don't do that to us. <laughs> change position. Can you believe it? <laughs> okay, okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So now my question is, are you looking for love? That's the last question I have for you. Then we are going to take questions from the comment section. And then we are closing up this live. Are you looking for love? I am when, 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 before you answer, when you see happy couples, huh? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Doesn't need to ring a bell, huh? So tell me, are you looking for love? <laughs> so yeah, I am looking for love, but I'm not in a rush, guys. So like, you know, I'm not in a rush. If I meet, you know, someone that my like, if I'm going to meet this guy and then I get, like, butterflies or, or my heart starts beating, <laughs> then, yeah. 
<laughs> so that they shoot their shot. <laughs> oh my god, this don't do that to me. <laughs> no, no, my queen. Remember, I met my husband on a Facebook inbox. Uh-uh. Oh, shoot yeah, them, shoot their shot. Them. Wait, who sent who a message? Was it him or you? He sent me, and I ignored him for four months. Only to find out I was <laughs> ignoring marriage, huh? <laughs> okay. So, so should they shoot their shot? Are you gonna answer that DM? Yeah, they can send. Then I will see. Yeah, you need to screen them. You know, you need to check. I mean, the, the guys who still do hi on a Monday, Tuesday, hi. Ugh, who takes that? Yeah, you need to go for. And like send me a hi, hi even a TikTok, and then send me like I don't know, a three paragraph. I'm joking. I just, just <laughs> send me a message. <laughs> Tell me what you want from me. Don't say hi, because obviously I'm gonna ignore highs. You know, like yeah. hi Monday, hi on Tuesday, hi on Wednesday. Um, guys, I won't answer those DMs. Yeah, it's hi Benedicta. My name is Peter. I would like to take you out on a day. You know, I wish guys can just understand how it's done. Well, actually, I got a message like that on Facebook. Oh my goodness! This guy sent me a message. Yo, his history name. He sent me his name, his history, his twenty-eight. No kids. He doesn't drink. Yo, like, oh my god! <laughs> Then what happened? Uh, I didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you and the bachelor on date my family are not dating. You are looking for love, but you are not in a rush. Yes, yeah, because I just I remember on Valentine's Day I had um one girl. I think she was she joined like a live video between me and the bachelor, right? And then on Valentine's Day, she sent me a message. She's like, "You said you were gonna go on a date with Upaska, and then take a live video while you were there." I was surprised because I don't remember saying I was gonna go like on a date with him on Valentine's Day. He was the one saying these things, you know. So that's when I noticed, which, okay, this guy is misleading people, and yeah, because he said he was doing it for fame. He wants people to believe, which, okay. We're together, so let's. I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking, but that was pissing me off. Um, so I was like, I need to like, you know, Try like people need to know. The truth. Yeah, people need to know the truth. But okay, when they detain the bachelor from the my family are not together, you know. And um, are we friends? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If Do you guys know? Um, we used to talk. Um, after, yeah, like when we were doing those live videos. So do you know what? I felt like he was using me. Um, so, um, you say we talk. Let's say we talk on a Sunday, right? Um, we say hi on a Sunday. We talk on the Sunday. Then he says, "I'm gonna have a live video on Thursday." And I'm like, "Okay, cool. Let's do it." And then we don't talk from Monday um, to Wednesday. On Wednesday, on Thursday, like in the afternoon, then he says, "Um, I've set a live video like at eight o'clock. Let's go live." I was like, "Okay, are you serious?" So I started ignoring those messages, and then from there we just stopped talking. Yeah, no. Yeah, so guys, not... me and me and the bachelor from Date My Family are no dating. Because I still get these messages on Instagram and my WhatsApp, or I get my friends calling me, like because now there's um one of my friends, I think he went to a place where this guy DJ's name, and then he was like, oh my god, that guy is drama. So he, he was like, your boyfriend is drama. I'm like what boyfriend? You know, he's not my boyfriend. We are not dating. I don't think we're friends either. <laughs> we are just, you know, we just. You just know yeah, each other. I, we just know each other, guys. So, like, 
uh, like I don't want drama. Like those who know me know who's okay. When it's detached, she's a sweet girl. She's quiet. But yeah, no man. He was using you. Yes, he was yeah, using. Yeah, true, true. Anyway, you guys can start asking us more questions in the comment section. And then yeah, if there are no more questions, we'll be closing this live. But thank you so much, my queen, for bringing clarity into this whole thing. Yeah, because remember, if we are thinking you guys are dating, and then tomorrow we see him with another lady, we'll be shocked, you know. So now yeah, if you guys know that. Like... Yeah. So if you guys see me with like a Zulu guy who looks like Randy Orton, then you must know what I'm not cheating. <laughs> because I'm not dating her. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, guys, uh, you can ask us any question if there are no questions. If you guys are happy with the live, the way we handled it, then we can end it here. Thank you so much, my queen. You and that guy are not dating at all, at all, at all. <laughs> thank you so I much for also. So much. Pardon. Um, thank, thank you so much for having me and, you know, like, allowing me to have my say. So, yeah. It's very, very important. Like, like we are saying, all of us, we thought you guys are an item. So, thank you so much for making it clear so that he doesn't block your ways with other people, you know, your time, you know? your, you know. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much. I think we can end this live now. Do you have anything more to say in closing, my queen? No, man. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. And um, I saw the comments. So much love. And I love you guys as well. <laughs> and to my queen, <laughs> I believe in love because of you. Yes, yes, <laughs> thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> and thank you so much for giving me this platform, you know, to talk about myself, my experiences, and yeah, guys, you can send a DM. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, there is a question from Sibongile. Benedicta, what can you say to girls out there who are looking for love? Um, Good question. <laughs> no, I believe if you're looking for love, man, I feel like you need to first look at yourself. Love yourself first to understand what love really means. Because now, let's say um, you don't know what love is, you don't have like confidence, you don't have that self love. Then you're gonna meet someone that's gonna, you know, t like someone that's gonna buy you gifts and. Everything and then you think that's love. To me, and that's not love. You know, I love believe can be it. bought. Yeah, love can be bought exactly. So, um, if you're looking for love, you need to love yourself first, and that's where you can see who would say, "Okay, my partner." Like you will know who would say, "Okay, what what this guy is giving me is that really love, or is he trying to buy me?" So guys, self love first. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, self love is very, very important. And I mean, when you love yourself enough, even the partner that you attract can tell that you love yourself with or without them. You know, you don't yeah, begin to love yourself because you have a man. You love yourself even before they come. You know. And that is so profound, my queen. Ah, your wisdom. Hi, man. I think um, the next <laughs> time love we are on a live, me and you, you'll be introducing has <laughs> I'm prophesying now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would um, love that. That would be so nice. Yeah, there's so many questions from Spongy, Leo. <laughs> okay. She's saying, what's yeah. your love language? Uh, what's my love language? Here, guys. <laughs> That's a very
very important question. No, I just no, I feel like you know like when you're in a relationship in a relationship you need to be honest. You know, so for me that's my love language, right? Honesty. Okay, okay, yeah. She has said a mouthful, guys. Please do watch the full video on YouTube if you missed it. And then yeah, I'm also going to save it here on my Instagram TV. Please do watch it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I love, love you. you. I love you too and thank you for having me. You are the best. <laughs> thank you my queen. All right, keep Bye. well and we wish you all the best in your life, in your career, in your everything. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. The, the queen is very wise. That's one thing I love about her. She carries so much wisdom and she loves herself, you know, and she knows her standard that she carries when it comes to a life partner. Thank you so much for all those who watched. If you missed it, I see some of my queens are only joining now. Please watch the full video on my YouTube channel, Queen Rami Talks. I'm going to post the video tonight. And yeah, thank you guys so much. You guys are the best for all the comments. My Queen Tilly, I saw you from beginning till the end. Thank you. My Lady Puti, thank you so much. And um, I love you guys. Until next time. Bye. once again if you have watched until this end you are the best thank you so much um for supporting us you know it's very very important that you do something and then people show interest i really really do appreciate you guys and we will once again post more videos for you until we meet again guys please continue to share all our videos continue to subscribe continue to comment it's very very important for us you know i feel all sorts of you know we were doing the live today so <laughs> you have to come all out you know anyway i will see you until the end i love you guys so much and i appreciate the support until we meet again from the queen herself signing out bo 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 bo